Hello, good morning. I am determined to vlog this week and have something at the end of the week which is worthwhile going up. I've vlogged the last two weeks, edited things together. I would like to have put it up yesterday. Was editing it, ed was editing it together and I was like, this is so boring. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my vlogs aren't the most exciting anyway at the best of times, but I thought I can't put that, I can't, I can't do that to you. I haven't had anything up the last two weeks, but it's not for want of trying. Is that the saying? Anyway, so here we are. It's Monday morning. I've just had a shower. I'm getting ready because I'm doing hair this morning and then I'll be coming home this afternoon and then Hazy's out and working. This afternoon and this evening. So I'm just gonna do my skincare and I'll just give you a quick run through of the old skincare at the moment in the morning. Like mornings like this when I have time to just quickly do something. Oskia Renaissance Cleanser is my cleanser of choice. So I haven't taken my makeup off the night before. I'll use a makeup remover um, and Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I am actually now an Elemis Skin Cider. So I got this sent to me recently along with a couple of other products to like welcome me. It's basically an affiliate program because I love Elemis. Um, so I've now got a code and you can get 20% off of Elemis using that code. So yeah, I'll pop that down below um, and you can use it whenever you want. Get 20% off, treat yourself. Okay. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Lotion. I'm actually out of eye cream, so I need to get some more. But I have been using the Ren Brightening Eye Cream. And for serum, I'm using, at the moment, this Ren. They sent this over to me recently. I think it's a new collection. It's the Ren Ever Hydrate Marine Moisture Restore Serum. Um, I'm using it in place of my Hyaluronic Acid. And it's lovely. It's really lightweight. It smells really clean, like cucumber. Like, doesn't really have a scent, but if it was, it would be like cucumber, that kind of thing. Um, but just a really nice day serum because it's so light. And I feel like you don't have to wait for it to sink in oh, to put all your other stuff on top. And then this is a recent repurchase, which I just needed a day moisturiser. And I thought, oh, I used to like that quarterly one. And having repurchased it, I'm like, oh my God, how have I not repurchased this sooner? It's the Venusource Moisturising Sorbet. Beautiful product, great if you feel, if you have oily skin or you don't like heavy moisturisers in the morning, this one is beautiful. I'm coming to the end of it already and I think I'm going to repurchase it again because it's just my, one of my favourite day moisturisers and much cheaper than the Sunday Riley water cream, water cream? It's tidal. <laughs> and then lastly, it is the season, well, all year round is the season really, but I am using my Glossier Invisible Shield SPF 35. Again, if you've got oily skin and you don't like anything heavy, this is a lovely SPF. Um, in high summer, I do like the La Roche-Posay SPF 50, the Anthelios one. But for every day, this one's nice. As you can see, it's just clear and, and sinks in beautifully. I think it's like UVA and UVB and all that good shit. Um, my client that I'm doing this morning has recently also had a baby, but like literally weeks old. Like this baby could be like six weeks old, I think. Um, so she's coming in this morning. So I'm going to have newborn cuddles and my other friend... I did her hair last week with her six week old baby and it, I cannot remember Elliot being that small because he's so dense now. So holding a newborn baby, I'm like, oh my God, was Elliot ever this light? And he must have been, but I just cannot remember. Because <laughs> now he's so heavy, like my arm honestly falls off holding him. <sighs> Fancy seeing you here. Obviously I set this camera up and then did the shot for me to walk in. So. You weren't just here waiting all night. Oh, my hair is awful. Um, I obviously managed to shower this morning, but I didn't really manage to style my hair. So this is gonna have to do. So I was hoping I might be able to quickly do something before my client gets here, but I actually want to prioritize coffee this morning because I'm really quite tired. So tired, in fact, I feel like I could cry, but I'm not going to. I did hair all day, all day. I did hair every day last week which sounds more full on than it is. I wasn't doing it all day, every day, but I, I did do it every day. And then Saturday was a solo parenting day. So that was quite full on. So it went, so days when I'm doing hair every day and then like go into a solo parenting day because Hazy was working um, in town all day on Saturday and then he didn't get home till quite late. So those weeks, I just don't really get any time to myself or, do, or even not to myself. Like this week, I'm really looking forward to Wednesday because Gabe's at nursery nine till five and Elliot's at home, but honestly now from parenting to just parenting, and he's not a newborn anymore, but a small baby is a breeze. And I look forward to those days because 
if I need to pop into town, if I need to do anything, I can take Elliot with me. It's no problem. I can get things done. I know that he naps during the day. So there is respite there. So that's been full on. I was then doing hair all day yesterday and then it's Monday today and I'm doing hair this morning. Um, and layered in on top of that, both of the boys have not been, well, Gabe's been okay actually. He had a bit of a snotty nose, but Elliot has had a touch of croup. I've mentioned that Gabe gets croup. It seems like Elliot might be prone to it as well. And on Saturday night, I put him down for the night and he woke up. He was really unsettled and just very snotty. So I ended up going to bed with him at about half eight and just through the night he was, he was sleeping, but just, it was unsettled. He was snotty and coughing and it wasn't very nice. And then last night he seemed better. Um, and then as happens with croup, he started coughing about nine or 10 and it was that kind of barky cough and with croup it can come on all of a sudden and be quite nasty. So I was then on like high alert all night. So yeah, it hasn't been great. And coupled with working on top of that, it's just... But I need to just go easy on myself. It's like, I have days and I think, well, why am I so tired and dessert? And it's like, I have to remember, like if I wasn't self-employed, I'd still very much be on maternity leave. So if I have difficult days or I'm tired, like it's perfectly reasonable. Not that I'm saying I shouldn't be, but do you know what I mean? I just have to go easy on myself because I'm doing a lot. I enjoy doing a lot. I'm doing it. I've chosen to do this, do it this way. And like when I say that I've been doing hair and that's been tiring, like I love doing it. I love my clients, but it is tough when you then also have a five month old. Okay, so I'm here in the salon. I'm going to make myself a coffee, as I say. Um, I might sort my hair out, but as I say, my client this morning actually also has a newborn baby. So I don't think she's gonna notice that my hair looks like shit. Well, I hope she doesn't anyway. Oh, I'm in the same place and it probably feels like no time has passed to you, but I've just finished my first client who was with her 12 week old baby, almost 12 week old baby. And so, yeah, we just did her color and uh, now she's gone off home because it was time for baby to have a sleep. Baby's always welcome, by the way, if you ever come and see me, that's absolutely fine. Um, I only ever have one client at a time. So if you come to me and you've got a small baby, I actually encourage it so that we can have baby cuddles, but yes. I've just realized my battery's low. I thought I'd just quickly vlog this moment because um, it's uh, not very common that this happens, but both Hainsley and I are up and both kids are asleep, which is crazy. Elliot was awake at six and I fed him, but he's gone down for a nap now and Gabriel's still asleep and it's like quarter to eight. So we are gonna have to get him up soon because he's got nursery today. And then I'm dropping him to nursery and then I'm doing my friend's mum's hair and then free for the rest of the day. And I've got some errands to do. I'll probably go perhaps into town with Elliot later on this afternoon, we'll see. But yeah, it's just a very rare, well, it's, it's a rare slash never occurrence that Hazley and I are up in the morning and there's no children up. So what better way to spend it than me in the kitchen doing the washing up and Hazley watching the TV. <laughs> okay, so we've just dropped Gabe to nursery. And, oh, I should probably take my handbrake off, that would help. Uh, you might fall off actually, because we're about to go over a hump. So now I'm just on the way to my hair salon to go and do my mum's friend's, my friend's mum's hair. <laughs> okay, but I need to just sort out my parking. Yeah, I mean, what a chill morning. Um, and I, then I actually, so I did my skincare put makeup on, which is always exciting. And I've actually booked myself a haircut um, as well, which, okay, I've done my parking. Let's talk about this. At the salon. Sorry, very disjointed. I need to decide where I want to vlog. Right, hold on. Let's let's go. Let's. So, in very exciting news, um, I've booked myself a haircut. I washed it, like I said, the day before, and like did nothing to it. Oh, you saw it yesterday. And so this is it natural, and it's just not. Yeah, it's just not. It's just not happening. So, I was thinking I really need a haircut, and as part of me just being a hairdresser in general and also like moving to a new salon space i thought i would carry out a bit of market research and go and get my hair cut somewhere that i really want to get it cut like salons that i admire type thing because i want to see like silly things that no one else would think about what like the gowns they use the towels they use the shelves that they've got their products on where their hair dryers are kept like that kind of thing um but also even though i'm a hairdresser i do enjoy 
a nice chic salon experience okay i just do i have friends that can do my hair that's fine but i do like to go to a salon which is why i wanted to create a salon because i'm very particular about the kind of salon environment i like to go to and how i like it to feel and i want to kind of emulate that in my salon endeavors anyway so i've booked in with the hair bros you may have heard of them Diana Edit recently got her hair cut by them. I've been following them for a while. As a hairdresser, they're quite inspiring because they just, they don't cut, they're, they're not doing anything new, but they, they are in terms of the space. They mostly cut dry hair. Their whole thing is that you turn up with your hair washed and air dried, and they cut it to your own personal like hair texture in a way that it should fall naturally and you don't really need to do very much to it. Now, it's very expensive, so in terms of like the service and what you're paying for and what you get, there will be many clients that don't think it's worthwhile because it's over hundred pounds for a cut there, depending on who you book in with. Uh, you don't get your hair washed. You don't get a lovely head massage. I mean, some people don't want a head massage, but you don't get a blow dry really. So yes, some would be like, what the hell am I paying for? Which I totally understand. But for me, if the cut's good, I only really cut my hair cut it every six months. So in terms of the pricing, I've booked in with Roxy, so it's 130. But in terms of the pricing, if I did that twice a year, then that's the equivalent to like a 60 pound-ish haircut kind of every eight weeks kind of thing. Or is it? Is my last? It might even be like, it might actually work out cheaper. And also I'm just intrigued to go and I want to see just the experience really. But it's not till August. That's how booked up they are. That was the first appointment I could get. They released their appointments, I think in three month blocks um so they're always becoming available but right now it seems that they're booking for august but actually i don't think any of the other stylists have anything for august but if you want to book you have to do it like three months in advance um because yeah there's obviously a lot of people that will pay this extortionate price for a drying haircut um but their haircuts are beautiful i mean if you're into that it's a very cool girl very current like the way that they style and the way that they cut so yes, if you're into that, you'll love it. If you're not, you'll be like, that looks like they've been dragged through a bush. Like, it's either or. If you're someone that loves a beautiful, polished, bouncy blow dry, this is not going to be for you. So I'm very excited about that. I can't wait to go. But it's not till August, so there we go. Alexa, play Spotify. Okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Elliot and I are just heading out. He hasn't really napped very much today, have you? So I think he's quite tired. I also need to get things, but I need to write down what I need to get because I know I'm gonna forget. Hello, cozy boy. Oh look, we're holding hands. Put on his hand. Oh, wow. Okay, right, let's go. Even though I've had two children, I still don't feel like I know how to appropriately dress them when we leave the house. Elliot doesn't have a jacket on because the only thing we've got is a fleece and he gets quite warm in this car seat because it's quite cosy and obviously we're going to go in and out of shops it's not that cold so I've just put a blanket over him I'm still questioning like oh my god is he going to freeze I feel like I'm at the point where I can dress Gabe appropriately when we leave the house because he's a bit older and we've got like everything now like rain stuff snow stuff do you know what I mean but babies I just feel like I can never quite get it right unless it's really hot um, or really cold. It's in between, I just don't know. I don't know, he seems cosy. You cosy, Els? Gonna fall asleep? Great. Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, hold on, let me just turn down Selling Sunset. Or, 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 or turn it off, actually, turn it off, because I'm talking to you. How's my angel? Uh, yeah, you're so gorgeous. It's actually like halfway through the day on Wednesday, and today is like technically my day off, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a lovely leisurely morning. I'm just, I've got some errands to run, but it's gonna be chilled. But actually, it's been, I feel like when you have days off, you like, I'm just like, okay, what do I need to get done today? So I can't really relax, and it's like, nothing's actually like super urgent, it's not a big, huge thing, but I just felt a bit like all over the place this morning because I had things like hanging over me that I needed to do, namely send off some vintage stuff. I had a partnership with Vinted uh, this week and last week on my Instagram stories, which I was really like chuffed to be working on. Um, so I had to post out some stuff from my Vinted closet, which I should have posted out like two days ago, but such is life, um, it runs away with you. But I, did, I, I didn't realize like Vinted, like, Vintage, you have like a time frame of sending things. So it's just like this pressure on you every day. You'll be like, have you sent this out yet? And I'm like, oh, so yes, 
I'm pleased that that's been sent off. Three different, I've still got one thing to send and Elliot and I are gonna go out now and do it. And then we might go for lunch, mightn't we, my sweet angel? But I have to go to two different places because some people have chosen to send it through Every, some people through Yodel. Luckily the shops that do those are like three doors away from each other. So I went to basically one spot. But because of that, I was a bit like, oh God, just a bit frantic. And I've just filmed an outfit for my Instagram. For my Instagram, I was about to say Instagram stories, no, to be an Instagram reel. But look, I've got no mascara on today because I think I'm getting a sty. And also my mascara is way too old for me to still be using. So I need to get a new one. But I feel like it makes me look a bit like a boiled egg. And just in general, I don't feel like I look great today. I'm very tired. Have I already mentioned the boys have been ill? I just um, filmed this outfit. Oh, for an Instagram reel, because I'm kind of getting back into filming um, outfit reels. Ignore the dirty washing on the floor there, that's what you don't see on the reel. And just ignore like generally the whole disarray of the room. Again, you don't see that on the reel. But yeah, I've um, dug out my linens because spring has sprung and it's gorgeous sunny weather. These are, I don't know if anyone remembers, these are from H&M. They're my linen trousers I got when I was like full term pregnant with Gabe and I still wear them now because they've got an elastic waist. So I just tie it up um, and they fit really nicely and I just roll up the legs. Um, and because they're tapered, I feel like they just look really good. Um, and then this, does anyone remember this very old tunic from Zara that everyone had? And yeah, still a great summer piece. So I feel great about this. And then these are really old Urban Outfit sandals, but I love them. They're so comfortable, even though they're really flat. They're a gorgeous soft leather. Um, and so I dig them out every time it's sunny. Um, so yeah, hair's a little bit greasy, but hopefully you can't really tell. Elliot's also got his linens on. These are from H&M, and then he's got an H&M little bodysuit, haven't you? But I am, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a top over him to go in his buggy. Oh, bless you. I'm just, I'm going to just layer this very old Zara top that was Gabe's and was also, it's 9 to 12 months and it's not that small, it's not that big on you, is it? <laughs> it actually fits quite well, so <laughs> I don't know what that says about you, Elliot. Um, and speaking of Elliot, he has officially turned five months old. We've got a little five month old hun, haven't we? I can't quite believe it. Um, yeah, was there anything else I was going to say to you? I might pop to the supermarket to get some little bits for dinner. We're going to have chicken, chorizo and halloumi like salad and then some cute new potatoes. Um, I don't know why I just described new potatoes as cute. Was I going to say something else just then? Was I talking about linen? Hi. There he is. Am I interrupting something? No, we're just having a chat, aren't we? <coughs> just catching up, Haynes. How is everybody good? Great, glad to hear it. <laughs> There's my little gorgeous angel. This is the top. If it's nine to 12 months, I mean, does that look particularly big on a five month old that's in a nine to 12 month old? I think, I'm sure, I'm sure it shrunk. It must have shrunk. It must have, mustn't it? My big baby. Oh, what an angel. It's not a great angle, actually. My little sleeping beauty that was next to me. I've ordered from Chris and Lily, not this year. Very best lunch available in Kingston upon Thames. It's a tuna melt in this bake that used to just be in a sandwich, like a crusty bread, I think, but they've changed it to this bagel, which looks a bit like a bun bowl. But honestly, I don't know what this bagel is, but it's so delicious. Both boys are now in bed. Painsley's out teaching this evening, but he will be back, so I'm gonna get dinner started for when he gets back. But I've just had the worst news. Tina Turner died. Tina Turner's died. I loved Tina Turner growing up. I even wrote to Jimmy Savile to ask if I could meet her. I mean, thank God he didn't write back. I can't believe she's died. It's like, literally like the end of an era. For, like, it, it's just, it's really weird. But I used to listen to her simply the best cassette tape, like pretty much every single night to fall asleep to. That and Madonna the Immaculate Collection, those are my two go-to albums. Okay, right, I'm going to start dinner. We're having chicken, chorizo and halloumi, as, like salad, and then these really cute small roast potatoes. Oh, that's what we did. Oh yeah, I went out with Elliot, didn't I? And then we popped a Waitrose to grab some bits for dinner. One of which, these aren't the ones I usually get, these are the Waitrose own brand ones, but I usually get 
Albert. Oh, I've got them here. Well, I've got the brand here. Albert Bartlett potatoes, by the way, the best ones, every every version of them. But they do these small red ones called Apache potatoes, I think. They're so good for in the summer to go alongside a salad. Um, like, instead of a potato salad, if you roast them in the oven, or like, like saute them and make them crispy, they're the best things ever. So, but they didn't have them in stock because obviously everyone knows how good they are. But these are, I think, like the Waitrose versions. They're called Ruby Gem Potatoes, but they're basically these small red ones. So if you can get your hands on them for like a summer roast potato, they're just insane. So that's what I'm gonna do now, get them in the oven because these will take the longest. I finished watching Selling Sunset because I'm on episode 10 and it's just so good. received a load of paint samples today from this paint brand Bow Work Colour. I'm considering painting one of the walls in my new salon but I'm not sure it's actually been freshly painted the condition that I'm taking on in is really good apart from the outside I'll need to repaint well I won't <laughs> I need to pay someone to repaint the outside for me and remove the old sign the floors are really good it's been freshly painted it's got new spotlights in it it's really nice, I don't actually need to do anything, which is great. Um, but I've considered a, a couple of things, like I wouldn't mind some sconces, like either side of the mirrors, I think that could be quite nice. Um, but it's not urgent and that will be kind of an unnecessarily like big job. Um, because it would have to be wired behind the wall. I don't know how easy that would be to do, but anyway, it's like, it's not necessary for me to do. Why is my, why is that red? Hold on. But one of the walls is, I think the industry term is tongue and groove, but I, I feel like that's to do with tiles. But it's basically like panels, like slatted, like like, like panelled wood, if that makes sense, but quite skinny ones. Um, it's really nice because it adds just like a little point of difference and makes it into like a feature wall. So I was wondering about possibly painting it. And nothing too crazy, like literally just like a, a kind of putty or like greyish, like a neutral um, and not worlds away from like white, but just something different. And I was looking at these bow work colors cause they're lime wash paints. And I, so I was again thinking about like having like a raw texture to it, like concrete or like plaster, you know, that kind of textured paint that people have. Anyway, so I went on the bow work website and you can order color cards. Um, and it's been really helpful because I actually, I don't know if any of these will work, but I feel like there's a couple that I maybe want to see the slightly darker versions of, and there's a family that I definitely do want. I feel like, because I can't renovate a house because I rent, I'm almost using this as like an excuse to live out some renovation dreams, like picking paint colors, for example. And I also am gonna get kitchen cabinets to go in the kitchen bit. Um, so there's like a few little things I can do to make me feel like I'm renovating a house. But these are the, I mean, they don't, I don't know how different they look on camera, but these are the colours I got. But they're basically in kind of the greyish family. This is probably the darkest. It's called Witch Hazel. And that's like a warmish colour. Then there's, what well, I'll put them like next to each other so you can kind of see the difference. Then there's, this is White Fox. So Witch Hazel is the darkest one. I quite like that one. Then there's this one, which I thought on site I really liked. It's called Hoarfrost. And there is Slow, which is this one. You can see that's going a bit cooler. And then there's Quiet. And Quiet was the one on site that I thought I would probably go for. And looking at it in, like, in person, I do really like Quiet. I do like Slow, but I don't think it's as dark as I would like. I like the depth of Quiet. And I also quite like the depth of Witch Hazel, but I think Witch Hazel's maybe, oh, I don't know, actually, looking at it there, I thought Witch Hazel was maybe slightly too warm, and I'd maybe want to see what the darker, like, the next darker one to quiet would be. I think these two are my final picks. This is, I've moved it the wrong way around. This is Witch Hazel, this is quiet. And looking at it on camera, I actually feel like I like Witch Hazel more, because it is that real putty. Quiet maybe is a little bit too sage but I thought maybe I'd quite like a bit of sage. Look, that's quite a good representation. I think actually Witch Hazel could actually just be the one. It says it's a cool, soft, natural grey. So it is cool, it's not, 
it can appear greyer on the wall than on the colour card. Oh, so maybe that, that might be good then. Anyway, this isn't a definite. I may not paint the wall at all, but I just wanted to start looking at some paint colours and um, yeah, if anyone has ever used lime wash or painted a wall, tips would be welcome. But I'll probably show you when I'm in there um, what I mean, and then I'll give you a bit more context. Anyway, I am going to probably round this vlog off for today and continue to watch Selling Sun Shelling. Continue to watch Selling Sunset, text my friends and family about Tina Turner. I actually did text my family and they've said they send their condolences to me. I'm gonna watch Selling Sunset, but when it gets home we might watch Succession, although I might be too tired, so I may not squeeze an episode in, I might just go straight to bed. Because tomorrow, Hainsley is here in the morning, but then he's going to work in the afternoon. He's working till quite late in the evening. So it's me solo parenting from like two, from mid, well before two, from like midday until the end of the day. So <laughs> I might see you back here tomorrow night when I'm getting a delivery because I can't be bothered to cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs>